Thank you, Tigers Marcy here. I hope everybody had a fabulous holiday, fabulous Christmas leading into the new year, and that's when New Year's resolutions come. Um, all the people that go to the gym, you probably hate it like I do because everybody flies the gym and they quit after like three months in March, it's like dead. But um, what I encourage you to do with your house, which is uh, what I'm doing this year, is um, I have a couple things. You know, I did cook. If you guys have been following me, you've seen all the little festive Christmas stuff that I've been cooking, which I don't ordinarily do, but this Christmas I felt, you know what, let me cook for my family and share it with others. So that's what I did. As a result, I have a lot of like extra junk, extra unhealthy stuff in the home. In addition, I might have some chips here or there, and I might have some stuff in the freezer like ice cream because there was a sale and I bought it. Um, but I've kind of like just been enjoying myself over the past couple um, two months because it's my, it was my birthday, I, I went on a trip, and it was the holidays, and that's when everybody tends to kind of fall off the diet. Um, me, luckily, I'm very disciplined, you guys know that. Um, so for me, um, gaining a couple pounds and losing it is like totally no deal, but for some people it really is. And they eat this stuff, and guess what? They don't take into account all year they've been eating bad, and then they're eating even worse over Christmas. So I definitely don't do that. It's literally just been a couple months for me. And I have seen the difference, which is kind of interesting. But what I encourage you to do is just um, go ahead and clean all the stuff out of your house. So that means get all the unhealthy stuff out of your pantries. Literally put it on the counter that you can see it. So this is like the one time I would encourage you, you know what, go ahead and eat it. Enjoy yourself. You know, cook yourself up something nice for New Year's Eve. Enjoy the rest of 2015. So leading into 2016, you guys can be ready to go. And my method is, if you don't bring it into your house, this is for all of you that shop for your family, there's going to be no need for you to eat unhealthy because there's going to be nothing bad in your house. And so I love my home because there's nothing unhealthy on a regular basis. And uh, it's only healthy stuff for me and my husband to choose from. So if we want that, we have to go and get it. So that's what I encourage you to do. Get the cookies, get the pasta, get all the unhealthy stuff, put it on your counter, consider cooking a meal, cooking something, getting all that extra unhealthy food out of your home. And so when um, New, New Year's Day comes, or the day after New Year's Day, people tend to still go pretty hard on New Year's Day. But the day after New Year's, um, just commit to 2016, being healthy, feeling good, and I promise you'll benefit. And I never have an issue. And again, my method is if you want to eat unhealthy, Consider it a cheat meal. How about you go and enjoy a pizza up the street versus bringing all that unhealthy stuff into your home. Of course, there's healthy versions of, let's just say pizza, which is cool. And if you have uh, variations of how to cook healthy stuff, I say go for it. But for the most part, a lot of us don't. We just go ham a lot. So consider just eating out if you're gonna eat unhealthy in 2016. Clear your home, you'll feel better, you'll look better, and you'll be more energized and motivated. So use that tip, I know I'm gonna be using it. I'll get back to my four pack as I say, literally in about two weeks, I work up very hard. And give yourself a rest, guys. If you are a gym rat and you have not rested for the whole year, your body will break down, so you have to rest. I know I rest. I may look like I don't, but I rest a lot, I sleep a lot, and I eat good a lot, but also eat very healthy. Drink a lot of water. I got, hope you guys have a wonderful new year, and I will continue posting videos, and um, just stay up to date with me on Instagram and Facebook and social media. That's where you'll see my day-to-day -day kind of random stuff that I post, and you'll always know what's in the know. So I hope you enjoy. Bye.